What did you guys think about episode one? I think it was pretty damn good for the most ridiculous isekai concept ever for me anyways. The dude's a vending machine. I think it delivered so far. And I think it delivers because it's not taking itself seriously. The problem with a lot of anime, especially isekai in this oversaturated genre, is that it gets so serious and it's got to defeat the demon lord and all this. But the storytelling is subpar. The world building is like non-existent. The pacing is trash and it suffers. But this is like chill slice of life casual. And it's really doing well because of that. And it's a very unique angle as the dude's a fucking vending machine. I'm excited to see what's going to happen from here on out. Let's begin today's reaction. New character? Mr. Bear wants to buy something? Right, we have a name, Buxo. The director. That's, that's huge. The vending machine too? How's the vending machine going to help? Wait. The thing about campfire cooking in another world, when you get you got food, it provided buffs for the party. Maybe while fighting, they'll go to the vending machine and get food, and then it'll buff them up? Because, like, how else is it going to support? <laughs> Lamis is at the very end carrying the vending machine. <laughs> she must be ridiculously strong. I know we, I know we, we know that she's strong. She lifted the whole thing and carried it to the village, but it's hilarious. You have to carry the entire thing. <laughs> Hello there. Got the old end. That's the, uh, that's the good shit right now. Huh? Early afternoon tea. Hmm? <laughs> yes, it's a sentient machine. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> it's all mass manufactured in the factory. <laughs> the branding, all the labeling. Umai? Yeah. I have no fucking clue. It just does. Filmina. Oh, he's the captain. That's a big deal. The captain looks like a laid back guy, though. Like, pretty chill. But I'm sure he can get serious when he needs to be. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. I forget what type of blessing he has, but Lamis has the blessing of strength, right? What? Is that cup ramen? Looks like a new item. Or is it just the Oden? Oh shit! They're gonna lose it! Dude! I just cup ramen. Like, even in this modern age, it's so fucking good. I guess people call it like cup noodles, but in Korea, like, cup ramen. That's kind of how we call it, but. Yeah, exactly. This shit's gonna blow their mind. It's actually so unhealthy, though. <laughs> so many new characters. But what about Boxo? How is Boxo gonna fight? Oh? Really? You're down? I mean, we can cast a barrier. I'm sure we can learn some other magic, too. I was hoping he would provide food and drinks that would provide party buffs, but... How the fuck is he gonna fight? Aw, she sleeps right beside Lamis. Oh, sorry. You know, Boxo. Oh. Actually, wait. Is she really the first customer? Did the... Or, no, those monsters didn't really buy anything. <laughs> they tried to attack it. I can hear the frogs. Look at Director's paws. It's so cute. Okay. Maybe she'll swing Boxo around like a weapon. <laughs> you don't know? S smack it with the vending machine! Yeah. Yeah, you did. Why? Huh? Wait, what? Go, oh, because in episode one, remember in the, the alleyway, she was missing everything because she probably has so much force that just goes forward. But if Box was behind, it counteracts that force so she can actually be more balanced. That's how he's going to help fight? Okay. God, she has such disinterested eyes, but that's part of her charm. Some people really love that, the emotionless eyes. Dude, they just keep spawning though. I want Lamis to start swinging Boxo around like a weapon. No, no, you... 
You can't just act like a human shield, but it's okay. Because barrier. No. You know, the, the, the box so right behind you. Hello. <laughs> Oh. Oh, because he can only see front, so maybe he can see like 360 vision. <laughs> I don't know if a lady would want to hear that kind of stuff, but actually, she likes it. She likes it. More barriers. Hell yeah. Hmm. It's a little bit fishy, I guess, if this, you know, inorganic box of iron has blessings. Maybe he wants you to be all cooey and gross, though. <laughs> yeah, who wants to do this shit? This is the worst part of the hunt, the harvesting part. No, band together, guys. Unionize. <laughs> you can't tell a lady that. He, is he rising her up? I don't know. He's a little rough around the edges, just like his doubles. Wow, Captain, so cool. Hmm? Oh, way, way, way. Now's the time for some healing food. <laughs> <laughs> Something about that little girl carrying him like a princess. <laughs> food! Healing food! Huh? Just a drink? Mm. Better heal them. Uh, it, it, don't tell me you're just giving them Gatorade when they're like cut and injured, right? I'm expecting this to be some kind of like healing potion. But it just looks like Pokari Sweat. <laughs> okay, I guess it's not some kind of healing potion. The Menagerie of Food. That's the what? I don't know if that's a good sounding name. Okay. I don't know about this group name, man. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really heal them. I don't know. I thought it was gonna like really heal them. Because it'd be really OP if all his foods and drinks could also provide buffs and shit like that. He's gonna try to pickpocket. Uh, you know, like... Without the coin- Yeah, yeah, yeah! Zap it! Zap him! Huh? Just a free drink? No, it can't be just a random free drink. <laughs> Gotcha. I was expecting him to wait until the metal pick is inserted and he like electrocute him. Lamis, how dare you? I don't know what statistic it is, but I hear in America every year on average, maybe like three people die from vending machines just collapsing on them because they get angry that food got stuck and it just falls over. I'm not sure if that's the right number, but I heard something like that. Kind of hope that he would collapse on him. King Frog. Ooh, this is a big boy. Smack him. Oh, he's being so nice. Did she just let them go? Yeah, what? Oh, she'll just care? <laughs> Dude, her strength is fucking insane then! I mean, we know it's already insane, but... To what degree? <laughs> Look at the frog chasing. <laughs> I don't know, learn some new skill, bro! Could do that. Give us some food. Yeah, give us some food. Uh, I, I don't even know what frogs like, man. Which one? Cola? Just, just cola? I think it's Coke Zero. More cola? <laughs> Form a change! Oh, what? Wait! And I literally form change. I thought he was stuck as a vending machine, but. 
Oh, Mentos and fucking Coke and, you know, it shoots up, you know? Put it in the bottle. How do you tell them to put it in the bottle? This is impossible. They would never understand this. No, no, no. If only he could actually speak what he's thinking. Oh, guys, think. Think of the chemical reaction. If it, I mean, how the fuck could they ever know about this chemical reaction? This is like playing charades. <laughs> Make them, it's really, really fucking dangerous. Come on, guys. Oh, this guy. This guy can die, though. I don't care about him. Nah, th this guy can die for trying to sh take box about. Am I a little going too far? Oh! Put, put the cola in his mouth now! Oh, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Perfect treatment! You get what you deserve! Yeah, yeah. But like, is this gonna be enough to make the frog stop? I guess maybe it'll like... I don't know, uh, reduce the flames? And then shoot it at the fucking frog. Dude, they got bottles of coke! Like, this is some kind of artillery, like, front line. This show is getting more fucking ridiculous. It's, kind of, it's bizarre, but it makes sense. It's very creative what they're doing. Also, yeah, she has water. She could use modern power to... Anyway, that's done. We actually took it out with cola and menthol. Amazing. What the other form change you can make, turn into? Damn, this is on you, director. How did you let the frog slip by? It's very cute. The director is a bear. <laughs> Hello there. The show is taking a different direction than what I expected because I thought that, you know, he would provide different food buffs and he could also use some OP magic. And he does, you know, the bear is pretty OP, but it's pretty creative in the sense that we're using coke and menthol to create a reaction to, you know, make the frog go blind and take the fire out. And it's like, it makes sense. I just never would have thought it would approach it like this. I thought it would go through some generic isekai shit and he would just like be so OP and have these different food buffs and the party would get strong, but nah, we're getting a little creative. This show is keep- this show is, you know, keeping me interested. But so far, like the battle sequences, all the animations, that was pretty crisp. I think it's a lot better than, uh, uh, you know that show where the, the fat guy turned really skinny and got really strong, you know, cheap skill in Underworld. That, that, that had a lot of CGI shit, but so far the animation quality, pretty good, voice acting, amazing, concept, pretty good. I hope it keeps delivering, but hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.